So for a long time we thought that mobility poverty wasn't really an issue here in the Netherlands because the idea uh, is there that everyone is able to bike. So, you know, the bike is always a solution to move around. But in recent years, as we are focusing a lot on the mobility transition, uh, we start learning that not everyone has the ability or access to the bike. And so the concept of cycling poverty entered our field of work. At Mobicon, we like to describe cycling poverty by using motility theory of Kaufmann. And the motility theory says that one's potential mobility is influenced by three dimensions. It's accessibility, it's competences, and it's appropriation. And for that last term, we like to use embracing. The main goal of the project uh, Dignity is to increase mobility inclusion of vulnerable groups, such as uh, migrant women, elderly or newcomers. And the people themselves, uh, they uh, say they want to learn to ride a bike, they see the benefits of it. It's an easy, cheap and um, uh, healthy way to uh, go to work or to travel to family or to school. So accessibility uh, encompasses, the, of course, having access to a bike, having access to a good cycling network, uh, but for example also bike parking, eh, that you can uh, Bar bark your bike at home or at the destination you're going to. Um, and it's not as evident that everyone has a bike, for example. We've learned in Amsterdam, uh, doing research in two districts, that a group of 6,000 youngsters living in families with a, a minimum income don't have a bike. So they rely on public transport or they have to walk. And that means a lot for your life, how your life is organized. Secondly, it's competences. Not everyone, of course, is able to ride a bike. So there are several programs in the Netherlands, for example, organized by the Cyclist Union to uh, learn, to teach people how to bike. Well, we have a, a, a large network of uh, organizations and stakeholders who organize uh, cycling lessons. For example, we uh, ask them to search for uh, volunteers who want to teach uh, to give teaching lessons. Uh, we have a sports department who organizes those trainings and we offer those courses for free. And then the third dimension is uh, embracing it. So if you have access to a bike and you're able to ride a bike, that's not automatically a result in that people will cycle. So that's how you see that cycling poverty is much more complex um, and also in the Netherlands, it is a, a real issue. For example, I know a woman, uh, Fatima, she uh, is now able to cycle and it makes her very happy because now she's able to bring her children uh, to school. Um, and I think for the rest of Europe, it's also an opportunity uh, to give that good access, uh, mobility access to all the vulnerable groups. Uh, as I said before, cycling is an easy, cheap uh, and healthy way to get to work, to go to school uh, or to go to your family. <laughs>